the whistles go woo when you want to woo woo it's that woo woo welcome what are we talking about today best buys baby that your boy picked up this year from Dua. it's a big list so i kept it separated let's not mess around i got the gear on it's game day it's new year's eve the game's about to come on row tie baby and let's get it started and you know how we do it no salad no dessert just straight steak and beans fat boy fragrance reviews starts now We are back, baby. I told you I would be gone too long. Welcome to Fatboy Ferguson. Of course, it is your boy. Changing it up. Like I said, we're going to start this whole new year pre-2022 off a different vibe. And But we're always still going to bring the energy. So if you like the content you are seeing, make sure you... Man, I did drop my phone, but no edits, baby. If you like the content you're seeing and you want to see more, and you like positivity, you like energy, and you like somebody who always brings it, it's your boy. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Join the Fat Boy family and become a something part that's growing, that's going to be big. We shooting for 5K next year, baby, and I need your help to get there. Let's spread the word. Let's show the love, because if you show the love, the love will always come back. Now, these are my best buys from Dua this year. I did a separate video with this because there's so many, and I buy so many duas. I could probably be called the dua expert if you want to say it. So all your dua questions, you know, your boys got pretty much an answer for it. I have bought mostly every new release this year, without a doubt. All right, doesn't mean they all been good. There's a lot on the doo doo pile, a lot on the hum pile, but there's been a bunch of good yeah yes. So let's find out what my best buys are this year from Dua. They didn't have to come out this year, but I at least had to buy them this year. So in no particular order, let's get started. Let's do the big boys first. Moda Elixir 2. Oh yeah. You know Moda Elixir is going to be on here. Come on. Perfect fragrance. Oh my God. I know you can't get it no more. I get it. I know you ain't even got no samples anymore, fat boy. I know, I'm out. But still, it makes my list, baby, because Mona Elixir is a perfect Adventist style fragrance, and I love it. Don't want to ruffle some more feathers, but Mona Elixir 3. Oh, yeah, you know it's going to make the list. Just came out, sold out, exclusive, gone. Can't get it no more, but you can get samples of this one. You can also get up to 30 ml in this bad boy if you like it. I got it for sale right now on fatboyfragrance.com. Fatboyfragrance.com. Link is below. Support your boy. The customer is always right, baby. Now, use code MODA5 and you get 5% off your Mona Elixir purchase. All right. Mona Elixir 3. Oh, yeah. It's one of my favorite fragrances of the year. It's going to be up for Yee Yee Awards. This fragrance right here is perfect. It will definitely make the Yee Yee Awards next year for sure. Oh, I love this fragrance. I love what it does. Man, it is totally different from the other two. Stay tuned for a comparison and ranking on all three modas. I'll be showing, sharing it with y'all soon. Can't wait to share it with you. But this one's still available. You can find it in places, eBay and places like that. You still find people selling these bottles. So if you get your hand on you can. If you want to sample it, a small sample of it, check the link below and you can get your sample of it. Now, another one that came out this year, kind of a cool one that really took a little while for me to get into was the Athique line. And I think they're both really good buys. I just did a, a review on them live. That is Mysterio and Epic and, and Vigor, Vigoro, Vigorex, whatever it's called. They're both worth my time. One is a freshy that has a kind of a Tom Ford Neroli Portofino vibe. One is unbelievably amazing. And once it got rid of that Dua Funk, blew my mind. Took over the show. Completely, completely took over the show. And phenomenal. Oh, got a little bit of a gasoline, rose, oud vibe to it. Really well done. I like them both. Really good job. Definitely good buys. All right. 
This one was slept on, man, and nobody's talking about it. Nobody, except me. Kosai Kalada. I love tropical fragrances. I love the notes. I love any kind of tropical fragrance. I'm a nut for it. Coconut, you name it, baby. And I like them all. And this one right here, ah, oh, right in my eye, baby. Yeah, it's not like Virgin Island Water, but you can smell the pineapple. It's not a really rich and sweet pineapple. It's just there. It's more all the other things that are in this fragrance that makes it shine. Severely slept on. Check out Kosai Kanata, Colada. All right, up next, this one right here was the reason I bought the real deal. Cure de Oceanic. This is their version of Mimo Paris's Ocean Leather. I love It's an upscale version of Aqua Gio's, um, uh, can't think of the name of it right now. It's still my son. Aqua Gio uh, Ascenza. So this is a, an amped up Ascenza. Love it. I know what you're saying, fat boy. Where's the news? I'm not taking it out because of the monetary reasons. I just feel like we can move on from that. We will have a music day, no doubt, still going on. One day a week, we'll have a party, and we'll have a good time doing it. And I'll probably still keep the music around for the live videos, because they're fun, because I don't make anything of the live videos. They're more, they make more of the super chat than I do of anything else. It's nothing to do with the money as much as to do with just giving you guys a more clean, fresh, pump, pumped up video review you guys can focus on that and the music is not there. All right. Cure the Oceanic. Oh, and it's spot on. It smells just like Mimo, Mimo's version. I love this version. I don't know why people don't talk about this more. This was a great buy for me this year. All right. The best blend they did this year, probably ever. Drowning in Blue Feet Savage Fierce. Perfect. Let's just get out of the way. This fragrance takes four fragrances and makes it perfect. Y'all already know about it. Don't need to go into it. Amazing. Drowning in blue, savage, fierce. Definitely a great buy this year. I want to grab these right here because these are really exciting for me. Let me find it. Uh, where is it? Here we go. These three right here are all part of the Dior High End line. And I really cannot wait to try some more of those high-end lines. So Dua came out with two of these this year and one a couple years ago, but I finally got my hands on them and I have all three of them now. First one is called Botacious Delight. This one is their version of, if I'm correct, um, uh, uh, this is not the right one. Sorry, I got the wrong one. Hold on, guys. No edits. Where'd it go? Amberlicious, I believe, that is their version of uh, Dior Favelish. I'm correct. It's one of these two I can't remember, but I did buy these two this year. Um, I can't remember which one it is. It's one of those two. Pretty sure it's this one, but I can't wait to try the real deal Dior Favelish. I love this fragrance. Apple pie amber. Oh, man. Mmm. Smells so good. And then here are First Love and Color of Tobacco. So this is their version of Tobacco Color and Vanilla Rama. I'm going to turn this down a little bit, guys. We got this loud. All right, so these two are another Dior High-End Line clones, and I love them both, and I think they were great buys because now I'm ready to buy the real deal. This is where Dua shines clone these fragrances that I gotta make sure I like before I buy and I got plenty of uh, juice here to sample to make sure it's something I want I like oh, first love I love it man I love vanilla first of all oh gosh that's so good and to, uh, tobacco color their version color tobacco is amazing what a great fragrance and what a great buy two great ones baby all right next up we have um, Blue de Tiger. I chose this Tiger blend for a reason. I think it's slowly becoming my favorite. Probably a little bit more than I actually like Tiger. I know it's crazy. As my aunt would say, Tan loco? Tan loco? 
Pero no, tía, es la verdad. This one is amazing. Love Blue the Tiger. I get my Tiger fix, but I also get this Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum. It just combines beautifully, and it's amazing. Great job on this one. Another buy I'm so happy with. Blue the Tiger. All right. Up next. Man, this one caught me off guard. And it caught a bunch of y'all off guard, too, because this one's been selling like crazy in my store. To the point I had to buy another bottle within a week. And that is called Uptown. Their version of Rosa Doe's Manhattan. This one, I'm going to put it in the skin right now because I feel like I'm going to wear this to bed. Oh, man. This one caught me totally off guard. It's an aromatic, woody aromatic kind of fragrance. And, man, do I like this one. And this one, if this is a Rosa Doe that ain't too expensive, I might have to get. Uptown. Review coming on this one soon along with Wealth and Builders. I'm going to double tip them. This one is fantastic. All right. This one right here was my first fragrance that a leather kind of fragrance. I was like, oh, okay. I can dig a little bit of leather if it smells like this. And that is Leather for the Ages. Their version of a Louis Vuitton fragrance. It slips my mind right now. Can't think of it. I think it might be Ombre Nomad. I'm not 100% sure. Let me smell it. I'll know what it is when I smell it. Oh, I can't remember what it is, but man. I think it is Ombre Nomad. Man. Does this smell like a leather jacket with a nice incense vibe, oud vibe to it? I know. It'd be crazy. I like it. You know, I shouldn't. But I really do. Leather for the ages really got me started on my Louis Vuitton journey. I was like, okay, I started searching for Louis Vuitton stuff. I was like, oh, I'll get this. Wait a minute. Let me check out this afternoon splash. That one looks really cool. I like the notes on it. And bam, that was it. It took off. And bam, I've been a fan of Louis Vuitton fragrances. I'm loving them. Leather for the ages is a phenomenal job done by Dew on this one. Another great buy this year for me. Man, that's a lot. I know. I know. I buy, I buy, I buy them every week, man. I can't help it. It's a bunch. Okay. Up next. This one kind of got a little love, but fell off. And I'm a big fan of fruity fragrances that are done right. And this one is done phenomenally. And that is Mango Fresh. Really well done. Now, I'm not including the brandy ones. I wasn't the biggest fan of Blackberry Brandy. <sighs> I haven't got my feelings all the way around the other brandies yet. So I want to kind of save them. I didn't put them in my best buy. I'm not sure if they're a best buy yet. But I know Mango Fresh was a best buy. Without a doubt. Oh, man. Oh, man. I love... <laughs> this one has gotten better. This is where I praise do it when I say, you make really good fragrances that smell like the fruit. Oh, man. Amazing. Mango Fresh smells just like a ripe mango. I love that. Love that. Love that fragrance like that. So, this one is unisex, easy to wear. A little bit of gourmandise, but not too much. Definitely a great buy for the for this year for me. Couple left. This one, it was a no-brainer. I was like, okay, yeah, no doubt. Blue Caribbean, Blue Caribbean Dua. Blue de Chanel and uh, Virgin Island Water. You get a masterpiece. That's a perfect fragrance for the... If you only had one to get and it was summertime, this one right here would hold you over. Performance is phenomenal. I mean, out this world. And the combination of those two fragrances, Chanel Parfum and Virgin Island Water, and, oh, man, it is a compliment getter. It is amazing. It's worth every penny. That is blue. Oh, there it is. Blue, the Caribbean duo. Love this fragrance. All right, two left. Another Louis Vuitton fragrance that really, really I like, and I don't think I would, and it's their version. I can't remember what it is, but this is their version of one Louis Vuitton fragrance. I can't remember what name it is. No edits, baby. Citrus Route. A one, it's a kind of a citrusy leather vibe. Don't get why I like it, but I do. Yep, it's classified as an aromatic citrus fragrance, and I like that kind of notes. So think of it like an aromatic citrus fragrance with a little hint of leather in there. And it's just the right amount. God, this one is slept on so hard. This is on my list, too, to get this year for the Louis Vuitton list. No doubt. Cannot wait to try this one, the real deal. If this smells half as good, if this one smells half as good as the real deal, I'm set. 
great buy. And the last one, another Tiger one, of course. Take my two favorites, man. Take Gone Swimming, which is their version of Afternoon Swim, and take Tiger and mix it. And you basically got two fragrances that are supposed to smell that like the same, but they, they really balance out really well. And that is Tiger Gone Swimming. Definitely balances out well. And I was stoked when I got this one. Love it so much. Oh, man, man, man. Performance is out of this world on this one, too. Just a great fragrance to wear in the summer. It's going to wrap you up and tell you, I smell great. Now, let me grab my phone off the floor. Let's wrap this up, baby. I hope you enjoyed the video. No music. Take a little bit used to. We'll be all right. It is New Year's. We will be going live after the football game for a little bit. If we win, of course. And if we are going live, we're going to do, uh, on Saturday, we will be doing a Dua Hall live around 2 p.m. So check that out. Um, Sunday, we have an interview with another guest. So I'm excited about that. Went too high on the music. Sorry about that. So we got a guest on Sunday. Can't wait to have him on there. Mr. Chris, the CEO, will be joining us. Another fragrance reviewer. Hopefully trying to get another reviewer lined up for tomorrow. I mean, for uh, next week. So stay tuned for all that. I hope you enjoyed the video. I always have a good time sharing with y'all. Stay tuned. We'll also be doing uh, next week my best buys of 2021 from the rest of the clone houses. We'll do that in one big video. And we also got coming up the collection video, baby. It's coming. The whole collection in a video. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay well. And if you smell good, baby, and you feel good, baby, it's going to be all good. Fatboy Fragrance Reviews is out.